let's just say you win 40 to 10 as 30 days eating zero drinking water <laughs> in a row. This is a joke, right? Go on, Davis. That'll let them know who it is. What's up, Joel? You forgot to just wait for it. Wait for it? Yes, yeah, Joel, wait for it, Davis. You messed that up. It's okay. You're a Miami fan. You're doing the best you can. What does that mean? You don't remember that show, How About Your Mother? Never seen it. What do you do for fun, Coop? I watch Miami Hurricanes football. Is there truly, don't, don't be yes me, is there truly <laughs> no hope for Florida State in this game? I No, listen, Joe, I'm talking a 0% chance because even the ESPN analytics, the matchup predictor, gives Florida State an 8.6% chance of winning this game, which is not zero, which means there is a glimmer of hope there. Do you agree? Well, there's an old saying in college football, anything can happen. But this is the first year in the rivalry game where I knew Florida State could not win the game. There's some stuff I'd like to see from them. The defense is getting better in so many areas. The freshmen have been really, really good. I'm glad the quarterbacks are getting some potential to see if they're going to be the guys going forward if we need to take a transfer quarterback. But uh, I've seen years in the Taggart years where we were playing Clemson and they had Trevor Lawrence. I knew we absolutely could not, no matter what, win that game. There's times when you guys almost got the death sentence. I don't know if you remember in the 90s when you got caught being like the most fraudulent uh, university on the planet. They almost gave you guys the death sentence. Uh, we knew Miami could not win those games. Those were like 63 to 3, 58 to 10 all throughout. But this is the first time on our end that I didn't think, like, it's not hope is low, it's like zero. There's a 0% chance that they win this game. Even if Cam Ward trips over his ego and hurts himself on the way to uh, the Dolphin Stadium. It doesn't matter. With a backup quarterback, they still would win. We, we don't have the offense to produce enough points. I mean, if you guys kick a field goal, we're in trouble already. So it would be that bad. So uh, not to beat up on my own team, but no, I mean, I do want to be real about it. Um, so no, it's a zero. There's as much chance as us winning Saturday as you guys getting your own stadium. Could it happen? Yes. Is it going to happen? No. So, and I do want to thank the Dolphins for making it possible. If it wasn't for them, we couldn't even have this rivalry game. So, hats off to uh, Miami for, for doing that. When you told me you're going to let me have it, you're going to, I want you to. Because if your rival ever starts treating you like your special needs, you're not even effective anymore. But the fact that you guys did a show previewing Louisville, and all you guys talked about was Florida State. You didn't even talk about the car. Everything in the conversation was Florida State. I knew the 45 to three had deflated the, and I, and hats off. I make fun of the fans all the time, but I use that as a tutorial at my businesses to show people how to, in case of like a fire or emergency, how to exit without someone getting hurt. They did that in the second quarter. It was, it was, it was one good thing about them, but um, where was I even going with that? I lost it with the, <laughs> the joke about the fans. Like I said, there's the, the sun will come out tomorrow after Saturday's game. But if you're Mario, you're trying to prove a point. And yeah, if he if yeah. he can uh, if he can if it's up a hundred to nothing with one second o'clock, he's going for it. He's going to go for a two point conversion. So yeah. Yep. And I, I don't agree. blame him. I I was warning the forty five to three. You think we we Florida State fans were sitting there going, all right, calm it down. We've made a point. No, I mean that's that's the point of the rival. And to my Florida State fans, if you can dish it out like you have, especially to Coach Coop. Stop accusing him of being arrogant and and not the same person. You did yeah, it to him. Yeah, yeah. They did it to you for years. And so if you can take it on the chin and dye your hair and get in the trash can, because those things are funny because you do an outward expression of how like a fan feels on the inside. He feels like going out and getting in the trash can. People can relate to you because you you reacted that way. But at the end of the day, it was congratulations and you moved on and, and you had class about it. So – our fan base needs to do the same thing. I know we can pick back and forth, but at the end of the day, I can say to Miami, to you, and to other one, good job, great year, and and good luck going forward in the playoffs. Now, can I give you the breaking news? I think I know what it is, but go ahead. You do already know what it is. Uh, M Miami is rocking the Miami Knights. In case anyone who's watching this is not aware, uh, <clears throat> according to the majority of the Miami fan base, 
I am not putting myself in this group because it ain't me. The Miami Knights are a curse. It's a jinx. If Miami is going to lose a game, it will be the one where they wear the all black. I didn't know we we're going to be playing Oklahoma State, and that's what you look like. But I don't blame you. That putrid orange and green only looks good when it's the right orange and green on the Rattlers. But, um, no, it looks goofy. It looks silly. But if, if you think it's cool, that's all that matters. It's like it's the a, clothes you wear. It's a week it's before like the- Halloween. It's a week yeah, before Halloween. Black and orange. Look, look, I even wore this. For, look for the video. Right. And if, but if you really want to see something scary, just pan the fan base, which I want to congratulate them for coming out to their first game. Some people will be attending their first game. Cam poured his heart out, playing as hard as he can, and they still can't show up. And the argument is, well, there's so many more things to do in Miami. And I'm like, well, yeah, I agree with that. There's more fun things to do to go to Miami football. But, uh, yeah, this will be their first time showing. What are they going to be wearing? Orange, I think. Mm-hmm. And the player's mm-hmm. black. Yep. I've never seen someone, the old saying, toy with college football fate the way that Miami is. It's like they're begging for something freaky to happen. I still don't call for Miami to lose, but I could see something weird happening in this game. And your fan base going, that would not have happened. And I don't want anybody to get hurt. I mean that. I don't want anybody yeah. on the team ever to get hurt. But let's just say any player, Cam Ward or anybody, goes down, he's kind of holding his leg. The fan base will start saying it's the jerseys. Yeah. That's why he got hurt. That's why he threw more interceptions. That's why he fumbled yeah. it twice. They will somehow tie in something that mm. night to those jerseys. So I am stunned that you're going with it, especially because we remember what happened the last time you put them on or the last time the Gators put them on. What is a respectable score then? Miami's favored by 20 and a half. So what, what for real, for real, Joel? What would have you walking away saying, you know what, that wasn't as bad as it could have been? Uh, hey, I'm I'm pretty I'm okay with the performance. Flo- a Miami under forty, Florida State over ten, anything in that range, I go good game. So the bar is kind of low. My guess was thirty eight thirteen. That was my guess. What do you got? I can, oh, I see it now. Uh, okay, well, there you go. 48-10. Right, so, I got the Canes winning by 38. See, with proper clock management, we can get those 10 points off, Scoop. I mean, I'm still willing to place the bet. I'll place the bet with every game there is. Okay. Well, I luckily I have a good one. for you, uh, I have something that we can put in with a hold little on, bit just of a minute. bet as well. Hold on. Hold on. Hold it there for just a second. I'm it's, sorry. Just like take my breath away, man. Mike. It chills down my spine seeing you hold that up next to you. Hang on, just one more time, real fast. Here. One more time. Here, here. I thought maybe this guy was calling you. Oh, hang on that's, a minute. That's why. That's why. Hang on. He got me on that one, Coop. Oh, that's wow. why I thought. That's why I thought you were telling me to hang on. Wow. Uh, this is a great picture of Mike Norvell. It's a good picture it looks of a angry. who had 10 wins that picked up one of the worst teams in college football from the Taggart era and immediately put us back to being competitive. He's never lost to Miami. I know you'd love to count a COVID year when he wasn't even there. That's what a win is a win, Miami says. But you've never beat the man. You will Saturday. But again, when you come to the dope takeover, boy, are things going to look Look in the head. 2025. Man, that's a whole year from now. You guys taught me how to do that. I can be an all-season, in-season champion Not just me. like you guys can. So what's his bet, Joel? What's his bet? I Look, we, we had previously discussed a few things regarding this. Uh, the what, what did you say? Is this turquoise? Is that what this considered? I... I I, my fan base is going to eat me alive for not knowing that exact color, but I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I know the symbolism as far as the Seminole tribe and the color. I get that. But I don't know if it actually says exactly what that. The tag, is, the tag is wrong, though, because it mentions championship something. Championship athletes. I need to, get, I need yeah, to but, have them take this off. Yeah, because I don't think we have amnesia like you guys do. We we are a championship football team, and and the the fun part is is people were alive to see our accomplishments, Coop. Unlike yours, I have to find a historian to tell me about the good old days, as, the, as that old song says. You have no idea how cool that looks next to you. You have no idea. Well, so here's the deal. 
I'm willing to put something on the table. If if you're willing to to do a little something something here. Now you can tell me if you want this to be more. I'm I'm just I'm trying to break the ice and say something. So if now see, I can't say look, I, I'll let you throw it out there and I'll tell you why. Because I'm not gonna say here's what I was gonna say originally. No. I was gonna say if Miami loses, I will wear this during every show next week and provide no explanation. And that might not seem like a big deal, but think, not every one of my viewers is going to see this video. Imagine a new viewer comes in next week for, who's Miami have, Duke? I think it's Duke week. Yeah, Imagine Duke. A, a Duke fan comes into my show and they're like, let me check out this Miami channel. And I'm doing the entire preview, Miami versus Duke, in a, a Florida State jersey. No, I want you to up it. Because you got so cocky about this year, and you're so sure you're going to win. I want I want it better than that. I want you to wear that um, literally all the rest of your shows for the rest of the season. Well, I even, every single show, even if you're covering the national championship, because you're a hundred percent sure you're going to win. You shouldn't have any trouble making this, Coop. Well, I plan on going to the national championship. You have to wear I, that. Okay. If now, what is the bet? If, is the bet if Florida State has to win the game, or are we talking the game. about we're talking about like covering the spread or something? Like what you if, have to. What's it, it, that's are it. Are you going to the national championship that's for Biden's dinner? I will find a way, Joe. I will sell my house or the ACC championship. You're going either one. Box. Even are you, if you're going to the ACC championship, you can wear it. Then I'll count that. And you're willing to say that that Florida State has to literally win the game for me to have to do that? Yeah, Florida State wins. That's the easiest bet of my life. I might it's as well fun, put though. I might as well put this in the closet. All right. Yes. So hold on now. Let me get this straight. If you go to the ACC championship or you got to do the both or the national championship, you'll wear that jersey to the game. Yes. Yes, I will wear it to the game. On the outside, not with something yes. over it. There ain't no fine print. I don't play that BS. There ain't no loopholes. Okay. No nothing. I will wear this. Jersey to either the Miami Hurricanes yeah. ACC championship game or national championship. Me, going up, meeting my viewers, saying what's up to people. I'll do it. <laughs> He'll be the only one that stays that doesn't look an idiot. That is awesome, man. I appreciate okay. you making that bet. But it's scary you're that confident, too. That, that's the kind of thing. All right, here's my bet. Okay. I can't bet the Florida State, like, whatever bet I make, I'm going to have to do it. So I'm trying to think. Uh, of something that I could do that would be hard to do uh, that still says Miami's going to win the game. So here's what I'm going to do. I will not, and I'll tell you the exceptions to this because I have some things that are planned that would mess it up. Okay. I will not eat a day for every point spread there is between these two teams. So I have... A couple of things planned. Uh, I'm going to the Notre Dame game, and, and when we're in Chicago, we're having a meal at a steakhouse. I can't skip that. I'm going to be with friends I ain't seen in years. I also have front row seats to Jerry Seinfeld comedy show. I'm eating with a friend that night. We're going out. That's the only two things I can think of that are like must that I have planned to eat. Outside of those two events, I won't eat, even if it falls on Thanksgiving Day. And if you get enough points, let's just say you win 40 to 10. That's 30 days eating zero, drinking water <laughs> in a row. This is a joke, right? No. If you beat us 60 to nothing, I'll fast 60 days. Still outside up. of the two, outside of the two, at the, uh, the steakhouse in Chicago, can't say no to that. And I think they have food on the booster train or whatever we're going on. I'm eating that, and I'm eating at the Seinfeld thing. But Still outside up. of that, I will go that many days Water only, well, supplements, I don't want to die. Supplements and water, that many days to represent every point between these two teams. I'm not trying to send you to the hospital, is that? Well, it's, I'm not going to die, Coop. It's do not, it's sad, it's do we need to consult a medical professional and, and like, get yeah, if, I almost, of... if I almost die, I'll call you and let you know. You'll let me know. Yeah, I'll call you and say, Coop, okay. I'm in the hospital. Because I want to I want to do like a video of it, like if it like make a content, yeah. you know? And here's the thing. I'll check in with you every day. I'll send you a picture of me. And if I'm lying, you don't tell me you can't look at somebody. Can I juice it up? Eat. Joel, can I juice it up? What, you want to get on a scale and prove it? No, 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 no. Okay, how about this also? 
if Miami wins by at least as many points as, as I have, which is 38, so they win by 38 or more, your first meal after that is going to Longhorn Steakhouse, buying the most expensive steak on the menu, and ordering it well done. That's more dangerous than the fasting bed because they say that black charcoal is is a carcinogen. So, are you scared to do it to take it or no? Do I do? I do do both. I'm a Florida State fan. I'm not scared of Miami. I'll eat. A well done steak. Now, what if I can't fit? How big has it got to be? Because that's hard to chew, man. I don't have the teeth for that. No, okay. So when I say most expensive steak, it doesn't have to be the largest in ounces. I just so mean get the smallest steak, medium. I'm sorry, steak. Because if it's like twelve or sixteen ounces, I you know. No, 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 no. Get you can get. The I can't smallest even get that in an urn. I'm not that stuff. mean. I'm not that. But you're gonna find that you're actually probably gonna like it quite a bit. So can this I do will, like you do an order off the child's menu? No, not allowed to do that. No, like I. I like when when I went to Flanagan's with Chris and Melissa. Melissa and I split a chicken tender uh, meal. We split it so. <laughs> and threw up later from being so full. <laughs> I'll do both, Mister Big Shot. I will eat a kid size or coop size medium or what do you call it? well so done six ounce six ounces is what I go for six ounce well six done ounce. well done. What do you and put that, on it so you don't choke? Nothing. No A1. No, no ketchup? Dip, no cut. No. Straight up. So we'll do it as, instead of it being your first meal off of fasting, we'll do it as your, your last meal. Your final meal before your fasting. So you remember, the last thing that I ate was that well-done steak from Longhorn Steakhouse. And then you don't get to eat anything else for X amount of days, depending on however. You beat us by 50, days. and it'll be a 50-day fast. Outside of the two days, I think it's November the 1st and November the 10th, I will be eating at those events. But outside of that... Do I need to sign some kind of waiver? No, I'm going or, to reverse the poop in the cup bet that was not honored. I'm going to reverse it and prepare us for next season. Yo, you can do it if you want. I can't because I'm holding my phone for this. Otherwise, you would have. I... It's the thought that counts. Joel, we'll see you on Saturday. Yes, and again, if Oklahoma State wins, so be it. Go Cowboys. <laughs>